Hi, Heidi. Hi, how are you? Good, welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you for doing this. And welcome to the Art Fest online chat. I have Heidi Colburn here with me today. She's an artist from Kingston and has been involved in her shows like quite a while. Like how long have you been doing our Art Fest Kingston show? This would have been the fourth one for the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful uh, setting in Kingston Park, isn't it? It is. It's gorgeous. And it's a really nice place for a lot of people, you know, downtown people to hang out. And, uh, you know, going by, the tourists love it because there's so many things around and, and it's so close to downtown. So it's great. Yeah, and I love the, the shade in the, the park. It's so comfortable. Well, that just did. It. it has so many old, mature trees. It's been there for a long time. So it's a great, great green space for people to use and multifunctional, having art shows and uh, splash pads and car shows. So it's great. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, yeah, so Heidi, you're a painter. I am. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about how you got started with your, with your painting career. Well, I've always been uh, crafty and handy. Um, Love to dabble and make my own creations and decor at home. Um, worked full time, you know, had a really busy life like many do. Uh, two young boys at the time and, uh, you know, busy family. Um, unfortunately, back in 2012, started feeling a little weird. Had some symptoms that, uh, you know, were not normal. And um, so I went and talked to a doctor and had some tests done. And, Come to find out, I ended up with a couple of autoimmune illnesses. Um, and uh, so, you know, just new change of life and trying to figure things out. Unfortunately, with the couple of them that I have, it's hard to stay at work. <laughs> so I ended up having to retire early. Um, and um, we've always been busy as a family and uh, I never sat still. So it was kind of hard being retired at home and... Uh, having really nothing to do to keep me busy during the day. Uh, so I got back into a lot of the hobbies that I enjoy. And so I started dabbling in a bunch of different things, um, like to knit and uh, do other creations, woodworking and that kind of thing. So started doing that. And then that Christmas, my husband and boys decided to get me a paint set. So I thought, this is cool. I haven't tried this before. Like, in, other than painting decor stuff and odds and ends here and there, but actually, you know, a canvas. <laughs> um, so I did, uh, did a lot of YouTube videos. I took a couple classes because um, that Mother's Day as well, they got me a class to do for Mother's Day to go learn some new techniques. So I see you've chosen. I just loved it. Yeah, and, you, and you've chosen a technique that I find personally really challenging, and that's the... <laughs> Nice. Yes, yeah. Well, I did start off with brushes and I did some paint pours and stuff like that. Um, and I bought myself a palette knife set and just, I loved it. I was so structured as a person in my everyday life. Um, very anti personality, structure, everything had to be within its lines, that kind of stuff. And it was very freeing to have a technique that allows you to go outside the lines to express yourself without really visually being obvious that that's what it is um it just kind of brought me outside my comfort zone and uh and just the, the time to be able to learn it and explore it when i had it so it was it was great it was uh, seemed to be a, quite the fast evolution into a new passion that's great I, and i bet using a pal knife when you're if you're outdoors painting which i know you do quite a bit of i have yeah it must be easy is it easier to to use a palette knife and try to cut around brushes and cleaners and all that stuff like the only challenge with especially outside uh, or sometimes in the sunroom here is the paint drying faster so i've been using a lot of mediums to have to to slow down the paint dry times um that's the biggest challenge doing it outside um or in a sunny like really humid sunny room it seems to dry a little faster so it's mediums work great um and then it's just also the great thing with using acrylics is you can just you know if you're not sure where you're going with it and it's starting to dry you could walk away um walk away take a few minutes kind of look sit back look at it again and then you know continue on and you're not really messing anything up you can tweak stuff you can still 
add and adapt and so that's the great thing about using the acrylics um, is it just gives you that more time to just tweak as you go right <laughs> I love the I love the the fact you can like layer things too and build up lots of nice texture without yeah you know with having to wait for the oils to dry. Acrylics got a lot of got a lot of uh, flexibility there. So I also you know your work uh, a lot of outdoor scenes, but I really uh, quite like your uh, paintings that are the, uh, the sailing paintings. Like you've got a lot of yeah. water. So tell me a little bit about how sailboats fit into, into this whole mix. Yeah, my, my uh, collection seems to be quite vast between flowers, sailboats, <laughs> just ab totally abstract. Um, yeah, my sons have sailed competitively, um, 29ers and 49ers on Lake Ontario here for years. Uh, we did a lot of traveling when they were younger. My husband has been sailing since uh, tornadoes, since 89 and the world's for that. So they grew up sailing and um, we've hosted regattas here in Kingston and that kind of stuff. So I have tons of photos of sailboats and they're so beautiful when they have, um, you know, their spinnakers up, especially the ones that are really colorful. It just gave me a whole new, you know, palette to, to try and to try and get that, the motion in the paintings with with the palette knives and they seem to be one of my fastest because I can definitely personalize them. Um, I've made one with somebody's specific boat, their own particular boat, um, so in the background. So it kind of made it personal for them and uh, so it's just great. It's you know an influence here for Kingston with the water with Lake Ontario so it's it's really wonderful. Yeah there's a lot of movement in your pictures as well I know like with the uh, create that was a good challenge, yep, to get that and to have it look right and make sure the waves are going the same way as the boat. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was going to capsize. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I noticed the color palette you have is quite striking as well. So that, how do you, I mean, I know some of our uh, viewers here, like, you know, with their starting painting, whatever, you know, yet, is it important, do you think, to have a certain palette that you sort of stick with when you're, a painter or what do you, what do you my think? opinion um i'm very vibrant i like to have people feel happy and look at it and just you know have, feel happy within and i find um if it's too neutral a palette unless you're really going that you only like pastels or neutrals and stuff like that um to me in my just on my own mindset is there a little boring and too neutral. It's not vibrant enough, I guess. Um, and I found that with looking at other pieces of art and other, you know, artists around and stuff like that. Um, some can be really neutral and I find sometimes they all look the same. Even though they're, they have like 10 canvases out, to me if they use the same colors all the time, it just looks all the same. Um, even though each canvas is technically different. So, um, I don't know, I just, whatever comes to me, I like color, um, I like to try and, you know, push the borders and how bright can I make it? So it's not for everybody having a lot of color, um, but to me, if you've got a fairly neutral home, that's your showpiece, right? That's your vibrant, that's your, you know, you can pull the colors out of the painting to do accessories for your house, but it's, uh, it's definitely a piece that catches your eye for sure. Yeah. Yeah, your bold colors really, really reflect that. I know that, uh, I think paintings that, that uh, are, are the feature of a, <clears throat> of a room are really uh, beautiful and, mm -hmm. and, you know, outstanding. I know what you're saying about, your paintings don't sit quietly in a, a room. They like to be- No, beautiful. yeah, you, if you want something to be a statement in a wall, in a room, then yes, that's definitely, my <laughs> mine definitely do that. I've done a few more, mellow pieces but uh i just i gravitate to the colors so yeah so with, with your abstract pieces like, like you have you have sailing you have floral what about tell me about your abstract pieces like how did you go on that path with your painting um that one was <laughs> when i first started it was actually a landscape scene that i was trying to do and it just was it was one of those days where i should have just put the stuff down and walked away. <laughs> it 
and it was just not coming to me. It was just nothing looked right. Everything looked out of proportion. And so it was one of those frustrating ones. And I just started blending it all. And I looked at it and I went, oh, that actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> so there is a lot of them do have maybe a theme behind them, but I do it in a way that not everybody will catch it. So I have a gray and gold painting. Um, I was originally going with kind of like a, um, like a cityscape with the shadowing, like as if there was a lake there, there was like a street line, gray buildings. But then I looked at it afterwards and it looks like a bunch of battleships. And the mirror as if a bunch of battleships on the water and it was gray with like gold accents. And it was just one of those things that it just, seems to morph into something whether I realize it or not. Um, yes. So it's kind of coming with a theme, putting some colors down, and then whether it you know, happens like that or if it just, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's one of the things that's so much fun about painting, isn't it? It is, definitely. Start a painting, you really never know where it's gonna, well, you may have a plan, but it doesn't necessarily mm -hmm you're gonna get there, right? <laughs> Sometimes I have a plan and I'd say about 75% of the time it ends up something totally different than what I was originally visualizing. <laughs> what about the process? Do you, do you start, when you have your canvas, do you start sketching it out first um, when you start your piece? Like the one behind me, uh, if I have something in mind or if I'm going off a photo that somebody sent me or where I'm readjusting the size, I often like to try and sketch it out even with the chalk, even rough, just so I get the proportions right that I'm trying to do, stay within ballpark of those those ideas. So it does, like if you're gonna do a canoe, it's gonna kind of be a shape of a canoe, even though it's by palette knife. <laughs> um, but, uh, so I just kind of give myself a, a layout. Um, lay it out a little bit, kind of know where I'm going with it. And then once the paints happen, it's more, it just kind of gives me a guideline. Yeah. So, but some when I'm just playing with colors, I just put paint down and <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> we well, have a beautiful studio. Is that is that a new studio? It is. Uh, we moved at the end of December, and uh, and this is one of the selling features for me. Uh, it's a sunroom, beautiful sunroom, and. Uh, so yeah, I have, it's south uh, facing, so it's great. I have morning sun and afternoon sun, and, uh, and it helps with the lighting. I don't have to use a lot of, unless it's really cloudy out, I don't have to use a lot of fake light. I get tons of natural light in here, so it really helps with the colors and what I'm trying to achieve, so it's great. Yeah, and it makes it a happy place to go to, I'm sure. Oh, it does. A little warm sometimes so far, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're good. We're enjoying it. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, well, it's so great to see you. And I'm, you know, it's been such a joy having you as being part of Art Fest Kingston, especially we since you're, you know, from the city and you have yeah. a lot of fans and followers there and they've been watching you, you know, evolve as an artist as well over time, haven't they? Yeah, so it's, it's great having them, you know, watch me develop and grow as an artist and a local one. I'm very proud to be part of Art Fest. It's been a wonderful experience right from the get go. And, uh, and you've been wonderful to help, especially when I came in as a newbie and said, newbie here, you know, needs guidance to <laughs> get involved. So, uh, no, it's been wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's great. Well, thanks for coming on with us today. And uh, Thank you for doing this. seeing you, well, we're going to be having a Christmas show, I hope. So we'll see you. And let's hope we can all see each other in person. <laughs> thanks, Heidi. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye. There we go. Yay!